In this video, we will discuss types of chemical reactions. So let us see what are chemical reactions. These are the five signs that indicate a chemical reaction has taken place. An unexpected change in color, change in order, production of new gas or vapor, and input or release of energy and formation of a precipitate. So we represent these chemical changes through a balanced chemical equation, all right? So depends on the product formed, chemist can, can classify these reactions into different categories. They can group them into different types. So that is what is called types of chemical reaction. Why are they doing that? Because it helps chemists to predict the product of an unknown but similar chemical reaction, just like uh, whether experts use patterns to predict dangerous storm so people can get their families to stay safe, right? Similarly, chemists can actually classify the different types of reactions and they can predict the product if they classify the chemical reaction into different types. That's the reason we are learning the different types of chemical reactions. So let us see the first one, how they are classifying. The first one is called the synthesis reaction. So it is combining from two, two or three different chemicals. The second one is called decomposition reaction. That means single thing changes to different products. The third one is combustion reaction. That is just burning. And the fourth one is single displacement reaction. And the single displacement reaction, we will learn a different category, which is called oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction. And the last one is double displacement reaction. In the double displacement reaction, there are specific categories as well. That is acid-base reaction, which is also called neutralization reaction and precipitation reaction another category under double displacement reaction so we will see each one in detail and you should know how to identify the type of reaction and how to predict the product under each type a synthesis reaction occurs when two or more substances combine to form a single product Say for example, reactant 1, which is A, reactant 2, which is B, when they combine, it gives you A, B, a single product. Since it is combining like this, sometimes it is called combination reaction. Since these two are adding up, so sometimes it is called addition reaction as well. So this is a general formula you have to remember uh, in the synthesis or the combination reaction. So we can compare that one with the dancing, one person dancing with another person. It is just combination reaction. So example is hydrogen element combined with oxygen element to form water molecule. So it is a new compound now from the elemental form. So that is A plus B gives you AB and then you can balance it out. Another example is carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. So these types of reaction, we call it as synthesis reaction. So now synthesis reaction, how can we see in particle view? So let us take an example of magnesium ribbon, which is in the ribbon form, which is solid, and it burns easily with a Bunsen burner, uh, and it combines with the oxygen from the atmosphere. So we can represent magnesium ribbon by touching spheres like this, because it is orderly arranged in solid, the particles are orderly arranged in solid. And oxygen is a gas, so the particles are far apart. And oxygen is diatomic. Diatomic means two atoms combined to form a molecule. That is why the subscript two here. So that's why it is shown two small little spheres here. So when this spheres, that is oxygen representation, Combined with the magnesium, it is shown here. It's not necessary to show in the particle diagram, but this is what is happening. So after formation of magnesium oxide, that is once it is burning, 
it will form a ash that white powder that is magnesium oxide mm -hmm. that is also again solid in state so this com combination shows like this magnesium one magnesium and one oxygen alternate we can show in particle diagram it is touching each other because it is solid so why is it one to one ratio because magnesium is in the second group so it has a charge of two positive and oxygen is in the 16th group so it has a charge of two negative so when you write the ionic compound mgo the charges will cancel out to make a neutral compound so it is mgo again solid so you can write the equation the complete equation to show what is happening in this process 2mg which is solid combines with the oxygen which is in gaseous form from the atmosphere right and it gives you 2mgo which is solid so we will put an s in parenthesis to show that it is solid state so g is for gaseous state s again solid state and then we can balance by putting coefficient 2 so that equation represent the whole process so this type of equation is a reaction is synthesis because magnesium oxide synthesized from magnesium and oxygen but now let us see more examples here if you look at these examples you will find the pattern of forming one single product from reactants so you can see that pattern so iron combines with oxygen to form iron oxide and we can represent the state of matter in parenthesis like this so s means solid g means gas l means liquid and aq means solution prepared in water aqueous okay now let us see decomposition reaction in decomposition reaction what happens is a single reactant changes into two different product two or more but in this case only two let us see a little more details about about decomposition reaction so the general formula for decomposition reaction will be ab gives a plus b just opposite of our synthesis reaction an example would be decomposition of water so while passing electricity through water little acidified water we will get oxygen in one compartment and hydrogen in another compartment why this hydrogen is little bigger because of the balanced chemical equation you can see that the ratio between hydrogen gas and oxygen is two to one so that's the reason so this is an example of decomposition reaction you can compare with the dancing people split it up into a and b so that is uh, decomposed into two right okay if you look at these examples you will find the pattern of forming two or more product from single reactant so the decomposition of sodium aside is a one decomposition reaction in practical application which is in the automobile um, airbag you can see here sodium aside split it into nitrogen gas that is what is expand, expanding and protecting the driver here so that's an example real life example so here carbonates and chlorates are the special cases in all other cases you can see the elemental form formed from lithium sulfide li and sulfur whereas in carbonate it is forming not the elemental form again still we are getting the compounds mgo and co2 same thing with the chlorate we are getting compound and elemental form so these two are the special cases in other cases we are getting elemental form and in the hydrogen peroxide uh, sodium peroxide also we are getting sodium oxide and oxygen and in carbonate again we are getting three products here in the compound form so this is how the decomposition reaction in general will look like the next type of reaction is combustion reaction combustion reaction is just like burning right so combustion reactions are generally rapid reaction that produce flame not necessarily but in in our body you can see that um, glucose is burning right it is not producing a flame uh, but it is producing some energy right okay so 
The famous example or the general example we will be using is hydrocarbons here. So carbon and hydrogen, that's a like hydrocarbon. When it combines with oxygen from the atmosphere, it produces carbon dioxide and water. This is how we are recognizing a combustion reaction. Combustion reaction will produce carbon dioxide and water. Both are in gaseous form. So that's why it is written G and G, water vapor. Okay. In single displacement reaction, exactly the word means a element replace another element. It can be either metal or non-metal. A metal can replace a metal ion. A non-metal can replace a non-metal ion from the compound. For example, if A is a metal, it combines with a compound BC, and B is a metal, if metal ion here, and it can replace A, can replace B, and you can get a new compound AC, and the element B is separated from this compound. So exactly the word single replacement means one element replaces another element. Okay, so same way a non-metal also can replace another non-metal ion from the compound. So A is a non-metal, it can replace C. Why I said C? Because always positive ion you will write first and the negative ion you will write next, second. So that's why C is a non-metal and if A is a non-metal, A replace C and it will form a new compound BA plus C, okay? Provided this, this metal and this non-metal which replaces the other one is more reactive than the one already here. We will explain that one in detail in the upcoming slide. Let us see a specific example of aluminum metal reacts with the aqueous copper to nitrate. When aluminum reacts with the aqueous copper to nitrate, you will get aluminum nitrate and copper. So how can we explain the change in the parenthesis here, the number here. Okay, so that is because copper, it is written as two plus two charge. So that two goes here. When you write the formula, aluminum is plus three. So that three goes here. Okay, so you cannot change nitrate ion when you write. Okay, only the charge on the metal ion will take that outside the parenthesis here. So please make sure that you are writing the right way. Okay, so that means aluminum is more reactive than copper, so it can replace copper from copper nitrate, copper ion, see? Okay, so the next one is sodium chloride solid react with the fluorine gas. So sodium chloride is solid state, fluorine is gas, and NAF, that means fluorine is more reactive than chlorine, so it replaces chloride ion from sodium chloride, and you will get NAF and Cl2 gas. So also remember the diatomic molecules, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. These seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, these seven, don't forget they are the diatomic molecule. When you write it in the equation, you have to always write two. Okay, but when it forms compound, it is not going to be molecule anymore, right? It is combining with another element. So you are not writing that diatomic state here. You will just write the compound here. But when you write it by itself in the equation, you have to write diatomic. All right. Another example is zinc metal reacts with the aqueous hydrochloric acid. So here, zinc and acid, it is not a salt solution. So what happens is always hydrogen gas will form. So in general, metal plus acid. So it replaces hydrogen. So always you will get hydrogen gas. See, it's a group of reactions. Metal plus acid gives hydrogen gas. And the salt, of course. So just balance it. And then it replaces hydrogen ion in the reaction. 